Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Cat Lady. Right, now, if I remember correctly, there were some panels in this room, and there was a reflection of me, but not quite a reflection of me, behind here. Right, I'm going to have to activate these panels. I've just used my mace as one of the levers. Can I use it? Operate, yes. Oh, okay. Oh, so something comes down and tries to crush the other Susan. Have I got to get the other Susan to the very end, possibly? Tell you what I need to do then. I need to remove the lever. Go ah. Ah, I know what's going to happen here. If I put if I put the mace in here... Oh, I might be wrong, actually. But if I put the mace in here and operate... She's going to go left, isn't she? She's going to go left. Okay, I'm going to need something else. I'm going to need another mace or a crowbar or some sort of weapon. Let's have a look. I didn't really have a look at this before. This machinery at the end. Let's, um... I can't, I can't use it, but I can look at it. I've seen this machine before when I first visited this wicked world of the dead. Back then, it was my blood that turned it on. Oh, I see. And of course, the machinery's on the other side of this glass, where the other Susan is. So I've... Oh, shit. I've got to get Susan to the right side. And... Kill her, I assume. Or uh, at least make her bleed so the machine turns on. So, oh, this one with the lever, you can actually take the other lever, so, okay. Um, take lever. Yes? Okay. Now let's go back and do this properly. Let's, uh, let's not trap her and kill her there, because that wouldn't, that wouldn't do anything. Let's remove this lever. The mace, rather. And let's just do what I did before, so let's, might as well use the proper one this time. Okay. Uh, operate. So she's going to go right. Excellent. Okay, now let's do another one. Uh, nope, can't operate straight away. Can I have to put the mace in? Like so. Excellent. Excellent. And operate. And she's going to keep going right. And in this 2D world, she can't go around it or anything. So if I just remove this one... She, I mean, there's no chance of her going left. Right? <laughs> no chance of her going left, right? Poor choice of words. But if I... Add this lever here. And then operate one more time. Or maybe two more times, I guess, because there's another one. There you go. She's almost at the machine. So let's just keep repeating this process. Remove the lever. Okay. Pretty easy puzzle, but cool. I like it. And put that in. Good, 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 good. And operate. Now she's right next to the machinery, so I'm pro... I'm thinking I probably have to use this main panel now, and, um... It's a good thing I did that in that order, actually, because, I don't know, maybe the mace would, wouldn't work in the main panel, or maybe it would, I don't know, but I actually have the proper lever here, which came from the main panel, so I'm just going to stick it right back in. Use. Okay. And hopefully this activates the machinery? Or crushes her. Either way. We just need blood. Oh! A big giant circular saw. Okay! <laughs> Hey, I wanted blood. I wanted blood. I got blood. Did it, did it turn the machine on? Maybe. Maybe it did. What is that? Like a heartbeat? Oh, cool. Oh, dear. What happened to the lights in here, then? A bit ominous. Was this the machine? Nothing's changed out here. If, is this the machinery she was talking about to get that lift running? I'm thinking it probably is. But before I go and check that out, there's actually something in here I want to try one more time. Apparently I had it right when I was stabbing her, uh, or stabbing this monster in front of me. But I wasn't stabbing it in the right direction. I've got to stab it from the front. That's what um, James from my Steam friends list told me. Uh, I don't know your, your YouTube username, so I can't really give you credit. I should have probably asked. But uh, thank you, James. I guess announce yourself in the comments. Um... Yeah, so if I just, like, stand here, I guess. Stay up. Right, okay, there you go. I knew the stab had to, you know, had to obviously kill it, but... I just had to stab it in its eye or something. It's weird. Right. Oh, hello. Oh, I've got a follower. Can't go all the way to the right. Um, follow me, other Susan, I guess. I guess with the monster out of the way, she could come around and 
say hello and just sort of be near me. That's kind of weird, actually. Let's let's go try that lift. Or the, uh, the elevator, or whatever it was. Something at the end of this pier, right? At the end of the dock. Past the strange netting boat uh, artwork combination. Well, there's a big green light. I don't know if it was a big green light before, but... Activate? Hurry up, Susan. You're going to miss a chance. Goodbye. Other Susan. Other worlds. Seems to be working. Did I need to stab the other monster in the face? Maybe I could have just come, come here on my own. I don't know. But we're going down, which doesn't seem like a very good idea. But anything to get me out of this uh, death world. Ooh. Ooh, I think the pressure's getting to you. Um, I don't particularly want to die, but that might be the only way to go through. I don't know. Oh, shit. I'm not actually in control anymore. And Susan's lost all hope. Again. Oh, look at that. Is it, is it forming into a, a face? Kind of look like it. What's this? Am I back? Who's that? One of me? The bath? Oh! Oh, hello. What the fuck is going is on here? You behind my back, Mitzi. Are we tied up? Miss Ashworth, I thought, I thought you were dead. Well, I was, but it's a long story. Right in the head. Me? Yeah. Dead? No. <laughs> no, I'm a tough old girl. You can't kill me you that can't easily. Kill me that easily. Stop asking stupid questions. We have no time for that. I think Let's I just calm down, I didn't yeah? I didn't touch anything but I cut her off somehow. Okay. I could do that. Okay. What's this? Duct tape. Yep. Yeah, he had loads of that stuff. <laughs> Who is this guy? This tape if we pull really hard. It won't hurt to try. I really don't have the best of luck, nor does Mitzi, I guess. I I kind of expected her to be dead or in on it, but no. It's pointless. We're completely wrapped in this damn tape. We're cocoons. Stuck in a web, waiting to be eaten. All right, all right, Miss Miss Negativity. He's gonna play with us first, isn't he? I think he may have already done that. Pull yourself together and stop talking shit. Are they naked Can't under there? Play. Possibly. Right, let's have a look then. So, have we got any ideas? How about that? Yeah, how about the lockpicks that you always carry with you? Maybe they're in your back pocket or how something. About those lockpicks that you you can wriggle them out somehow. With you. You know, the ones you got from your dad and used to break into this place? But we aren't locked in a room, are we? Doesn't really matter, is it? Wrapped in duct tape in case you forgot. How is a lockpick going to help here? <laughs> I don't know. It's probably sharp. Yeah. You could use it to cut this tape. It's better than nothing. Well, even if that was the case, I can't reach it anyway. So let's no, forget the so. lockpicks and think of something else, all right? Okay. Um. Well, let's just get this out of the way. Did he hurt you? Did he hurt you? That bastard packs a hell of a punch. At I least he didn't hit you with a hammer, head. otherwise she I would think be I'm dead. All right. right, okay, good. What about you, Mrs. A? Me? Fresh as a daisy. Remarkably. Feel better after we've dealt with this unpleasant guest of ours. Oh yeah, definitely. Do you think he's going to rape us? I don't no, think it's off the not. table. But if Susan has anything to do with it, I'll no. Something out. Let's yeah. just wait for him to come back. Sooner or later, Is that wise? Always make a mistake. Might be. Uh, we, we're Ms. kind a, of uh, stuck I'm here. I'm sorry I had upset you. I shouldn't have pushed you so hard. And I'm sorry about the mug, too. That's... It's all right. Yeah, it really doesn't matter anymore. The bridge. Exactly, yeah. Um, Let's use this sharp knife to cut the tape that... I have a knife? I, ha I have a knife? Let's use this sharp knife to cut the tape, then, shall we? I didn't what? think I... You've got a knife? Do I? Yeah, but I'm sorry. I just remembered. I oh. Can't reach it. Oh, brilliant. So let's forget the knife and think of something <laughs> else, yeah? Oh, you Bloody are hell. a nasty piece of work. <laughs> I really believed you had a knife. You shouldn't joke about it, you know. Well, I kind of did, just moments ago. It wasn't a joke. I lied to you. And you lied about the lockpicks, didn't you? I don't know you if she did. We have them. Who are you to call me a liar? Look at all the duct tape on the bath. This guy was doing a terrible fix. job. It's the truth. Really? Yes. But clearly my word isn't enough. You know what? 
I'll show you when this is over. I'll break in again. If we're not chopped into little pieces, <laughs> packed in plastic shopping bags and dumped in the trash, that is. That's always an option, I suppose. Maybe it won't come to that. Maybe it will. He might just it's me in control, after all. Or bury them in the woods. Maybe there won't be any chopping. Just soaring. Always an optimist. Always an optimist. Well, have you got any ideas? So, uh, any ideas? Not that many, really. None at all, actually. I'm sorry. Uh, we're just screwed then? We're just going to accept you, our fate? What do you think we should do? <sighs> well, we should I, I... kill the fucker. Yeah, With I just what? don't know how. We're tied up. Are you going to headbutt him to death? I will. Possibly. There's no other way. Exactly, yeah, I don't well, care. Let's do it. There's got to be something more sensible we can do. I'm not going to die here. Not like this. No, you're going to die in like a month's time. Uh, maybe together we can pull this pipe off the wall? Somehow, I don't know how they're going to achieve that, but let's try that. Maybe together we can pull this pipe off the wall? How is that exactly going to help us? Stop mm. asking stupid questions and pull with me. I guess it's something? Alright, I can do that. That was, um, that was simple. Well, we've got water all over us. Now we're going to drown. Brilliant. Great, that's no? just what we needed. A cold shower. <laughs> okay. <coughs> um, what? I used to like flowers, you know. Bit off topic, but okay. I used to like flowers, you know. Like everyone else. Or even more. There was this guy. I should have told him from the start I wasn't interested. Oh. But I didn't. Maybe I was interested. Oh, okay. I suppose this is the perfect time to reminisce before you, you know, get chopped into pieces. Word. It was ten years ago. I can hardly even remember him now. He did that thing every week. Because he knew Eric was at work. And ah. I was in the flat, alone. Maybe this is the guy. So Coming back for revenge? Night, I'd get flowers delivered by a courier. Who's Eric? Your partner? I think so, yeah. My husband. Right? Right, okay. He's a taxi driver. Oh. Worked every weekend. We're getting the details now. Still on maternity leave. So she did have a kid. Marie, our little daughter. Right. Was only six months old at the time. Okay. Well, five months and 28 days exactly. Okay. She would be 11 now. If it wasn't for what? Anyway, what happened? That one Friday evening's courier had delivered a big bouquet of the most beautiful lilies. Usually, I would have thrown them Who away. Who would be calling me now? But I really liked them. Some I didn't think I had any friends. They were extraordinary. Absolutely stunning. And looked very expensive. I stood there looking at them, mesmerised. I didn't even hear the phone ring at first. Oh, I think the phone ringing might be in her memory. As if I'd woken up from a strange dream. And I knew it was him calling. Okay. Are we going to have like a little flashback here? That'd be kind of nice. There's not much to do in the bathtub, honestly. Oh, right. Okay. I look a bit different, don't I? And it's a little bit more colourful. Only a little bit, but... Nice background, holy shit. That's pretty awesome, actually. Let's, uh, yeah, let's answer the phone. <laughs> yeah, who is it? Who can it be? Let's find out. Do you like the flowers? Oh, it's this guy. Oh, okay, um... They're very pretty. They're very pretty. Now piss off. I knew you'd like them. Lilies. They're beautiful. But not nearly as beautiful as you, Susan. <laughs> okay. Okay, stop it. We went to dinner once. I have a family now, and I'm sorry, or you're wasting your time and your money. Here we go. Let's let's let him off, or try and let him down slowly. I have a family now. I'm sorry, but I can't see you again. We've managed to patch things up with Eric, and there's Zoe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have to try and make it work. Our daughter needs both her parents, so yeah, I can't just run away with you. Life's not a film with Julia Roberts, you know. <laughs> Sometimes doing crazy things can change your life for better. Do you really want to be that woman who in 10 years time realizes that she's wasted the best time of her life living with a man that she never loved? Ooh. I... Interesting proposition. What are you going to do, Susan? 
I love my husband. Liar, liar, liar. Oh. I told you before. This is brilliant. It doesn't work like that. You don't know anything about children. I'll learn. Give up? <laughs> Honestly. Yeah, just give up. Put the phone down. Come on. Don't be like that. You're breaking my heart. Maybe I should have been a bit more firm with him. Or, or just tell him to shut up, maybe. I don't know. It's too complicated. I don't even know you that well. I need some more time to think. I'm kind of going down the easygoing-ish route. It's too complicated. I don't even know you that well. Look, I'm an honest man. I should just put the phone down, really, shouldn't I? Get. We might not know each other that well. I think maybe in about ten go, years we are going to be together, and you're going to tie me up in the bath. Yeah. When I call you again next Friday, you will answer the phone, won't you? You know what? No, no, this is over. Goodbye, good luck. No, I'm sorry, but this is over. Goodbye and good luck. I guess I should do something about these flowers. I'd really like to keep them. But I don't want Eric to know I have a secret admirer. Okay, let's... Let's go do something with the flowers then. Alright, Eric can't see them. I like this actually quite a lot. Uh, smell, admire, read note. Uh, read note? It reads, I know one day you will say yes. Hmm. I'm gonna keep them. I should definitely throw this note away. Just in case Eric finds it. Yeah, he won't be a happy man. Um... One last admiration. They're the prettiest flowers I ever got. I love them. They're absolutely beautiful. Spelt incorrectly, but fine. Um, let's take them and do something with them. I don't know what I'm going to do with them, though. Can we go in... No, we can't go into the kitchen. The bathroom? <laughs> Flush them down the toilet or something? No? Okay. Maybe I could use the front door. I don't know. Let's just keep going this way, though. Put them on the cabinet. Put them on the piano. Do something like that. Uh, I can play the piano. Oh, no, I can't right now. It would wake Zoe up. Oh, Zoe's around, of course. Right, okay. Uh, where is she? I guess I, I should probably go and say hello. See ya. Before she dies. Coffee table? Put them on the coffee table, maybe? Eric bought this table just a few weeks ago in a second-hand furniture shop. We haven't really got a lot of money at the moment. It'll get better when I return to work in a couple of months, I guess. Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe they can just be, like, yeah, put down on the coffee table. That'd be too obvious. Eric will start asking questions. I really want to avoid that. Okay, well, let's put it... S probably not in the bedroom. Um, in the... I was going to say spare bedroom, but of course it was Zoe's bedroom at one point, so enter. Right. Interesting cloudy background we've got going here. A very stylized game. I really do like this. Let's, um... Let's watch Zoe. She's fast asleep now. My baby girl. She looks so cute. Talk to her. Okay, I don't want to wake her up. We have all day tomorrow just to each other. I don't know about that. There's a shelf over here. It's one of those cheap self-assembly units from the supermarket. But it might just do for the lilies. Perfect. Now I can tell Eric that Mandy had brought them for Zoe. It seems like a pretty innocent lie. What happened to Mandy? I doubt he'll notice anyway. I hope you're dreaming about something nice, my little star. Hmm. Oh, who's that? Eric must have come home early. Ah. But why? Uh, let's go greet him. Why not? Let's do it. Uh, presumably he came through the front door. He didn't climb in through the window like Spider-Man or anything like that, you know? It's dead silent. Come Hello. Back early. So that is Eric, something okay. Wrong. Yeah. Well, let's think about it for a minute. Is something wrong? Yes, yeah, maybe. There is. <laughs> I don't know. Didn't you watch television? Listen to the radio? Didn't talk to anyone today? I don't think or I have a television or a radio. Or oh, maybe a radio. Uh, okay, was there an accident? Oh, God, not another plane crash. Uh, just, just tell me what's wrong, okay? Or... Nah, fuck it. Was there an accident? Was there an accident? Yes. You could call it that. 
What happened? A guy walks into a busy restaurant during dinner service and detonates a bomb strapped to his chest. Ooh, then terrorism. The term terrorist attack is more fitting. Right. There's chaos spreading all through the city. Everyone's panicking. The police and army are everywhere. Jeez. But you don't even care, do you, Susan? I didn't know. I, well, yeah, I, I care. I had no idea, though. Of course I care. I had no idea. You should pay more attention to what's happening to this country, Susan. I could have died, and you wouldn't even know. Did well, you I, get I'm hurt? sure that's soon to happen. No, not really. Well, maybe not. But the caps. Maybe he doesn't die. Me. Maybe he comes back in ten years to. I was just there kill when me. it happened. There was smoke, clouds of dust so thick you couldn't see a fucking thing. So I stop, and all of a sudden some van hits me from the back. I hear my passenger screaming and shouting, and there's blood on the rear window. Lovely. And just then another car drives right into us, and we're all stuck in that mess. Nobody knows what's going on, but imagining this might just be the end of the world. Yeah, it doesn't sound brilliant. But no, Not the best day at work, is it? With a bloody bomb. They closed all the main streets, in case there's more of them. What time was that? Around 7 p.m. I spent another two hours trying to get someone to tow the damn cab to the garage. Would you believe? Our insurance doesn't even cover this sort of thing. You should have <laughs> called me. Yeah. I did. Four oh. times. Whoops. You was it because I was on the phone with him? I must have been. Yeah, yeah. You Maybe. were busy with the baby. Or busy with the baby. Every yeah, that sounds better. The same old story. Oh, dear. Yeah, we've got we've some problems, haven't we? In the fridge, haven't we? Get some glasses, Susan. I need a drink. All right. Uh, how about get some glasses, please? And you know what? I'll let him off. Uh, I think he's had a pretty rough day. All right. I'll get the glasses. You get the wine. But are you sure you don't want to take a shower first? No. I just need a drink. I can wash later. Okay. All right. All right, we're back in control then. Let's uh, let's go get the glass. The glasses are here, aren't they? There you go. Didn't have to go far. All right. So where are we going? Shit. Oh, is it him again? Maybe. Uh, let's find out. Let's find out. Are you gonna get that? If it's uh, Jerry, I guess. tell him I'm not here. I don't want to talk to them tonight. I don't think it's gonna be Jerry. Let's find out. Hello. I'm sorry, but I had to hear your voice again. I thought you might be on the phone. I love you, Susan. That's all nice. Put the phone down. Susan? Say it's the wrong number, you something like that. There? Please, say something. I think he's getting a bit suspicious. Okay, oh, right, brilliant, okay. I'm sorry, but he's not home. Thanks, we've already insured with someone else. That'd be fine. You know what? Yeah, thanks. We're already insured with someone else. Thanks, Done. but we're already insured with someone else. Put the phone down. I... Excuse me? Put, put the Susan, phone down. It's me. The only thing I'm trying to sell to you is my heart. We won't be needing pet insurance either. <laughs> put the phone down. Come on. Stop it. What are you talking about? This isn't the time. Would you like my husband to talk to you? No, 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 no. Put the phone down. Work. He usually deals with insurance companies. What? Will you just put the phone down? Yeah, si I'm with him. Seriously. To them. These insurance bloodsuckers will never leave you alone. Susan, I'm so sorry. Should I hang up? Just Please, to... someone needs to. Just put the phone down, okay? Have you? No, I'm not going. I'm not even going to continue this. Hang up. All right. Take care. All Bye. Right. Take care then. Done. Easy. Oh, I'm back to reality now. Then okay. The arguing started. It slowly grew into something bigger, something horrible. And I'm sure we'll Stupid learn about that later and old on. Grudges mixed with alcohol turned into some sick exchange of pointless accusations. It wasn't the first time we argued, but it was the last. Just look at oh. the state of this place. Oh, it's a we're doing mess. it right away. Okay. Listen, I know you're with Zoe all day, but it's not like she's still a little baby. She's six months already. You'll have to organize your day a bit better and get things done. If other women find time, why can't you? That's a really strange accent that guy's got, and I can't really place it. Anyway, 
Eric, you're drunk, get off my case. Don't be nasty, I'm doing all I can or I'm done talking to you. Eh, don't be nasty, I'm doing all I can. Don't be nasty. I'm doing all I can. Are you really? Yeah. Okay, doing all you can. You obviously care about your husband. Coming home after a hard day's work, he's mm -hmm. gonna be hungry. But wait, where's his dinner? Uh, oh, let me guess. You didn't make it because you were too busy changing nappies and singing and playing and washing. And, 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 yeah. Yeah, I think so. It's quite a lot. And I'm not going to feel guilty about it. If you'd spent more time with our daughter yourself, you'd know how important these things are. But of course, she's not old so enough to pay for a taxi fare, so. No dinner for a hard working husband. From now on, he's going to have to cook for himself. Because, you know what, the wife is working just as hard, and she's really tired of being treated this way. Okay. She better gets used to it, because oh, this me. is just the start. There's going to be some changes around here. I'm fed up of being pushed around by you. I put the bread on our table, don't I? I'm the man in this family! Ooh, I will make the all right. and I'll get the respect I deserve. I feel bad now. I don't know why. I've, I've got secondhand like blame guilt or something. It's weird. Anyway, uh, sure. Um, I could just yell at him. Let's try and res resolve this calmly. Let's not accuse him of being drunk. Let's just say I'm done talking to I'm you. Done talking to we'll you. do this tomorrow of or something. Of course you are. That's what you always do, isn't it? You run out Is of it? arguments, you stop talking to me, then you lock yourself in the bathroom and fucking cry. <laughs> I'm sick of repeating the same old that thing does sound over, like and Susan. over again. Then why won't you give me a break, for God's sake? You're acting like I've done something terrible. I don't even know what your problem is. Is there something you're not telling me, Eric? Yeah, maybe. You'd know if you listened to me. But you never listen to me, do you? Well, Not go on, a then. single word I've ever said. I'll listen right. now. Go on. Here we go. Bring it on. I'll, I'll even take you. notes. It's the alcohol speaking. I shouldn't be taking any of this seriously. I know that tomorrow you'll be apologizing to me for it. It was just a couple of glasses and you had some too. I'm not drunk. <laughs> I wish I was. Maybe then I could laugh at this shitty life and not care so much. That's a good one. That's you really pretty care harsh. So much, Eric. You should get a medal or something. I thought you said you weren't gonna talk to me no more. <laughs> you are full of shit, Susan. All right, go now. Full of shit. Fine, fine. All right. Do I ha do I actually have to start yelling at him? I can tell him he's drunk calmly, but how can, how can you talk to me like this? How can you talk to me like this? You're treating me like dirt. Ooh. Didn't you forget something? I'm your wife. I'm the mother of your child. Doesn't it's going to go downhill from here, isn't it? A wife and a mother? Why don't you start acting like one? When was the last time you showed me that you care about me? All you ever talk about is the baby. I love her to bits, I swear I do. But I want to have a wife too. When was the last time you even kissed me? I'm not even talking about sex. Ugh. I knew it. Is that what bothers you <laughs> so much? Is it? No, probably not. Of course not. it fucking bothers me. Does no. it not bother you that we never have time for each other? Look, we are new parents. It's always hard. Something has All to suffer, you know. Through it, I heard. Yeah, uh, that's generally the Fuck. consensus, I think. I heard different. Um, okay. Well, I'm starting to eliminate some of the options, so I think I might have to just go through all of these. So let's just get aggressive again. Why don't you look at yourself, you idiot? So I'm an idiot now, am I? Yeah, You're... apparently. You keep picking on me for nothing. No, this was coming, and you know it, Susan. If you're so unhappy with me, then what the fuck are you still doing here? You got a good bags point. And leave me alone. You're throwing me out. Well, he owns the flat, I bet, right? This is my fucking flat! <laughs> I worked my fucking ass off for seven years to buy it! Alright, so I'll I'm be back in my bag. Okay, oh, well, you just have to go through them all, it looks like. Eric, you're drunk. Get off my case, alright? Look, I understand you've had a very bad day, but it's not my fault that the bomb had gone off and your car was damaged. I'd really like you to calm down now. That would be for the I'm best. sure we can sort everything out. We always do. I'm loving well, the that's change in the background. Think. That's great effect. Yeah? And what do you think, It's Harry? all becoming unhinged. What do I think? So it matters all of a sudden what I think. Well, 
I'll tell you. Sure. I think you're lazy, Susan. You do nothing all day, while I keep working my ass off to provide for this family. My ass off. I think you're trying to shift the responsibility on me, like you always did. Definitely not from Britain. I think you use the baby as an excuse for everything. And I think you're an asshole. <laughs> How dare you accuse me of such things? Are we just gonna start bitch slapping each other? It only takes one look at the flat to see it's all true. Uh, you know what? Let me go. I have to check on Zoe. Let me go. I it's have probably to not what he wants to hear right now, though. I left a window open in her room. She might be cold. Oh. Right, just sort of leave Eric stewing. That's right, just walk away. Or maybe That's not. That's all you do, Susan. You can never finish anything. If there's one okay. thing I don't want to finish, it's this stupid conversation. You know what, maybe, maybe you should just check on the kid. Check on Why Zoe. Not? Are you afraid that I actually might be right? This is Are how she dies, isn't it? Facing the truth? The cult, she, sure like pneumonia or something? She, I don't know. It's the hottest summer we've had in years. Yeah. It'll be good for her to have some fresh air in there. Won't you agree? I... I guess. Fine. Never mind. Uh, oh, here we go then. I've just got to go into a shouting match again. I haven't done anything wrong. I haven't done anything wrong. Of course not. Because you're fucking perfect, aren't you? That's not what I said. Well, if you're so perfect, yeah, then why are we here now, fighting? I, I love how animated and yet like not animated they are. What the hell is wrong with you? They're keeping their arms strictly, you know, strictly down to the sides. No one hand waving or anything. To Just sort of wobbling. The fucking edge. <laughs> All right, stop it. Stop it. Seriously, check on check stop on Zoe it, now. I've only just started. Oh boy. We should finally say to each other what we really think, right? Haven't you just been doing that? Right, okay, something... We didn't even notice that outside the storm had started. Oh, shit. I was so absorbed in that stupid fight that shit. I forgot all about the open window. Anyway, and the flowers. Those fucking flowers. Right there. By her bed. What, something on the flowers? She had some the... rare allergy to pollen. Oh, oh. But we couldn't have known that. Oh, fucking, that's obscure. How are we supposed to know? It's Ooh. rare. She oh, started coughing shit. and choking. That's bad luck. That is bad, bad luck. This is powerful stuff, really, isn't it? It's not a game you can really treat lightly. The next time we saw her, she was dead. When we found her, she, she was. After two days of what seemed like a narcotic dream, Eric had gone out and never came back again. Oh, so he didn't die. He just left. They found him nearly a week later. Oh. He drank himself dead in the woods. Oh. Okay. I nearly didn't recognize him when I saw him in the morgue. It <sighs> really was a hot summer. He looked bad. Oh shit. Okay. Well, it's all coming together now. I I understand. Yeah. Thank you for telling me that. Now I understand. I understand why you're so sad all the time. Oh, here he comes. Now, is he the, the admirer? He brought flowers. What do you want from us? Are you deaf? Mitzi, let me handle this. Let us go right now, you moron. I don't Mitzi. think he's going to do that. Oh, come on. What, what just happened? Alone. Don't you dare. No, no. Mitzi can't die, Mitzi. surely. Instead. Yeah. You can't kill me. Take me. And. Oh. Maybe he is. What is he going to do to me, though? Maybe rape? Oh, shit. Okay. Maybe... Maybe not. It's Mitzi. He took Mitzi. Shit. It would have been okay if it was me, because I could... I could live through anything, me, but... Not Mitzi. If you hurt my friend... 
friend. I... I will... Fucking kill you. Now what? Did he just hit me over the head again or something like that? What? 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 What's going on? You're letting me go? What? Just like that? Really? Where's my friend? What have you done? No way. Okay, so this is just bizarre. Uh, let's just keep the lights on. I don't know where he's gone. Let's see if we can find Mitzi, I guess. Maybe she's in the kitchen? Oh, hang on. Light switch, light switch. On. Okay, he's not hiding in the shadows or anything. That's good. Uh, unless he's put her in the fridge, I think we're okay. I guess he may have. Wait. Can I go out? No, I don't want to go out, so she must be in here. And Well, he must be in here as well, I guess, somewhere. What's he done? Oh, boy. What's this? Oh, fuck. Who is this guy? Is he the guy that brought me flowers and I, the one I rejected? I'm thinking, yes. Is there something in the cabinet I could use? No, just the same old examine stuff. Okay. Fuck's sake. Okay. I don't think she's actually being hanged. She's standing on something. What? What the fuck? What the hell? You sick son of a bitch. What do you want me to do? I don't understand. Stop growling at me or roaring or whatever the hell you're trying to do. What? What, that? The piano? The piano. He wants me to, he wants me to play the piano? I can do that, I guess. This is all very, very, very strange. Somehow, I'm gonna have to, uh... I'll well, save her, I guess. Probably take the hammer or something? I don't know. Get a knife to cut it down. Of course. I'm calling the cats, aren't I? Here they come. Maybe they can serve as a distraction or something, I don't know. Surely he doesn't know that me playing the piano is calling the cats. <laughs> Nice eyes. What? Teacup, you brilliant bastard. How in the hell did that happen? Oh, fuck. Oh, jeez, okay. What, uh, he's, he's dead? The cat's got him? Teacup, you little monster. And other friends. Hang on, wait, wait. Uh, pull up. I need to find something for her to stand on first. Uh, and that damn table's too heavy. Uh, the chair. The chair. Push, uh, push the chair. Push the chair. Quick. I don't want her to die. Come on. Faster, 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 faster. Pull up. Stand yes. Still, I'm gonna be right back with a knife. And I'll cut you down. Alright? Okay, brilliant. The knife. Oh, she's just gonna do it herself, okay? She's gonna get the knife herself. Okay. Didn't expect the cats to take him out, I'll be honest. And there was a hell of a lot of blood. Is he actually dead? That is a lot of blood. Just from, you know, a few pets. They're, they're eating you. Jesus! This is... I... That was not how I expected to take him out. Look, not by a long shot. I thought I'd be more involved. But Teacup, thank you very much. That easily. Stop asking stupid questions. We have no time for that. I think Let's I just... Calm down, I, didn't, yeah? I didn't touch anything, but I cut her off somehow. Okay. Maybe he doesn't die. Maybe he comes back in ten years to I was just there kill when me. It happened. You got a good point. And leave me alone.
You're throwing me out. Well, he owns the flat, I bet, right? This is my fucking flat. <laughs> I worked my fucking ass off for seven. Being hanged, she's standing on something. What? What the fuck? The piano. He wants me to. He wants me to play the piano. I can do that, I guess. What? Teacup, you brilliant bastard. <laughs> 